propose an amendment to the order of business. Uh, the Taoiseach would come to the House uh, this morning to explain to it uh, his extraordinary claims in the Dáil yesterday uh, that he intends to delay the banking inquiry until such time as the government uh, parties have a majority on it. Uh, it seems very alarming that the Taoiseach has uh, chosen to uh, tamper with the democratic process in such a way. Uh, the Curtin inquiry, which I'm sure uh, some members, or even those newer members, will recall it in the media, uh, did its work in an exemplary fashion, in a non-partisan fashion. Uh, the Dirt inquiry uh, into the non-payment of uh, dirt by the banks over the years is another such example where. Uh, the late Deputy Mitchell and his colleagues did an exemplary job in a non-partisan fashion. Uh, so one wonders the necessity to tamper with the political process in such a, a dictatorial uh, and authoritarian manner. And I think it's important that the Taoiseach, whether it was a case that he <laughs> dropped the ball with loose language yesterday, uh, or whether it is in fact an underhanded, sinister attempt to manipulate the democratic process, um, but I think the public are entitled to an explanation to this, and I think that this House uh, is an appropriate forum for that. Uh, as a second point, I think that it's important that uh, uh, we get the perspective of the Labour Party on this. Uh, and while I know that there is a leadership struggle going on within that party, I think that the public are entitled to know the days to stand over such tampering in the democratic process and a process that they were party to establishing in terms of uh, the Act, uh, establishing the banking inquiry, and the procedures and rules that govern it. And now that the Taoiseach has loosely intended yesterday, through his comments, to change that process, uh, because he feels, uh, I think his words were, I don't know what your members would do, uh, which is the profound insinuation that I must have a majority to ensure that my, the Taoiseach's, terms of reference are those that are followed and not those as set up, as intended under the Act, uh, by the democratically elected Iraqis. So uh, we feel this is the most serious of matters. It requires the Taoiseach's clear explanation and I think in parallel the people are also entitled to know whether the Labour Party are party to this dismantling of the democratic process and whether they stand over the Taoiseach's uh, dictatorial tampering with the democratic system.